So you're working on your DIY project at home, you're painting and you decide to take a break for some reason and you put your paintbrush in a plastic bag, in a Ziploc bag, in some painter's plastic and you just forget about it. And then two weeks passes by and now you've got a crusty brush. So I'm gonna show you how we can bring these back to life. So stick around. All right guys, so we have our Avanti brush and a Purdy brush here that I just forgot about one day. I left them in a bag and came back and they were crusty. Um, this is all latex primer and paint, so that's what we're gonna be cleaning off of them today. All right, so we started off with a couple of tools and some hot water, and we just let the brushes soak in hot water for five minutes. Um, so it's not exactly boiling, but it's right there. It was, I just used a um, coffee pot heater thing up <clears throat> all right then next I took a painter's tool and I just scraped off all the gunk off the edges of the um, bristles and just remember to always go in the direction that the bristles are going um, down so that you don't mess the bristles up any more than they already kind of are and I'm using the painter's tool to kind of go in between the bristles here as well um, and get anything that's stuck inside and separate the bristles and just washing and dipping it into clean water as we go Alright, next I took a spin dryer for brushes and rollers and dried out the brush really well. Um, try to get all the water out of it. These are pretty cool. They're like $8 at Home Depot or wherever. I'll put a link down below as well. But they're pretty cool to dry your brushes and your rollers outside. You kind of just spin it around and just the force gets all the water out and it leaves them dry. Um, and they don't get all hard and stuck together. Alright, and next we took the first part, I started with a regular wire brush, <clears throat> sorry guys, and then the second part, I'm using um, a dog brush, <laughs> so this is like a brush that you use for grooming your dog to get like all the hair out, and both of these are that I have here, but I find that they work really well, especially like the really thin one. Um, that we have here this one is kind of just for getting all that dead hair out of the fur coat and I find that it works really well to pull out any gunk that's left inside of the brush like in between the filaments all right and this is what our brushes looked like beforehand um, you know they had been sitting for I think like two weeks and this is how they look after and yeah I mean of course you can always go buy a new brush guys I just like to try to restore them before I go out and spend another five ten fifteen dollars on a brush um, but yeah I'm still actually using these brushes I'm I painted a couple other things since then and they're still working fine all right guys so there you have it we cleaned these up and again they're not like brand new sorry for the wind they're not like brand new but they look a lot better so if you do make the accident where you forget your brushes um, until the next day these were actually dry for a couple days they've been sitting um, when I was just painting one day and then it was I didn't even realize the time I had to go pick up my daughter from school and so I just left them there came back had some other errands to do and completely forgot about my brushes and this is how they ended up after we cleaned them. So you can bring them back to life. Um, you can see the shape is a little bit open because of, mainly because of the dryer. The spin dryer makes it, you know, makes it spread open, but also because we left it and let it dry. So then paint dries it between the filaments and stuff. But it's still workable. I can still paint with it. Um, so we're gonna just try to make it go as long as we can. Um, and that's a pretty good test of the durability because that's a you know you leave it full of paint and then you go and clean it with hot water and clean it and um, it's still together so check it out again the purdy um, I know that I can clean them up I've always we've had things like that happen with them before but it looks good as well it looks really good actually all right guys thanks for watching and see you guys